I got myself up at five, um, left the campsite at six o'clock. Uh, so I'm impressed with that. I'm happy with that because it means that I've got the best start for the day. But yeah, I'm, my body's definitely feeling the impact of yesterday. Uh, my feet are a little bit sore in a couple of places. So today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to try and take it a little bit easier to be fair because it's a little bit longer and I feel like yesterday I made a few a, a few errors basically because I was pushing myself a bit too hard to get to the campsite in time so you know I've left plenty of time to get to get to the next campsite uh, which is in Croydon um, so that's uh, just past Bleak Low and just before Black Hill so that's going to take us most of the way um, up the rest of the Peak District. So the, the first little marker I've got in my head for today is um, Bradfield and that's where we're going to get um, a little bit of food hopefully and stock up on you know a bit of water. It's also sort of I think it's about a third of the way uh, of the journey today so that's the that's the mile point that I've got in my head. So we're just descending into Cresbrook uh, Dale now and we're going to walk up here I think about three or four kilometres I think it is and then after that we've got um, another little road section so we'll try and make the most of um, this little trail that we're on now. So it's quarter to nine now and I've, I think I've done about 10k so I'm nearly at the, the quarter way mark which is good you know Bradwell's you know just over the hill but I'm looking at the I can see where I've got to go and it's it's uphill So we've got this big ridge that we need to walk over which is pretty steep and then um, we're on to Abney Moor. Abney Moor is 
still pretty steep and there's a little bit of elevation on it so it's going to be up and down which means it's going to be slow going so realistically i think i'm probably not actually going to get to, to bradwell until about 10 o'clock i'm quite looking forward to getting to bradwell actually because it's um we're sort of getting into the dark peak area from there and i'm a bit more familiar with the territory so it's going to feel a bit more like i'm making progress So we've made it to Abney Moor now and this really does feel a lot more like the dark peak that I'm sort of used to really. It's almost like a, um, there's a really dramatic shift actually. There's like a, a bit of a ridge that you, you walk over and on one side you can see, you know, all the dales and the agriculture and the farming and on the, the other side you can you can just see this sort of rough moorland so so we'll get over the top of this moor and then this is going to bring us straight down into Bradwell have a bit of a resupply and then we're going um, we're going close to Windhill where I don't think we'll actually uh, hit Windhill Pike and then we're going all part uh, to Bleaklow. Yeah, it's feel, it feels like it's going quite quick actually, but I am aware that the, the terrain is going to be a lot different now. It is going to be uh, some bigger hills. It's going to be a bit more technical underfoot as well. So it is going to be a little bit slower. But I think we should make it for we should make it to the next campsite for six o'clock. I'm I'm quietly confident about that. So just coming down off this path, I can actually see uh, quite a bit of the rest of the day that I've got to walk. Um, I can see Windhill, I could see Kinder, I could see uh, which are what I think was Bleaklow. So that's actually given me quite a nice little burst of energy. Um, it feels like it's more achievable, doesn't it, when, when you can see it. But although I can see it, I'm sure it's still going to take a long time to walk it.
so I've just gone past Bradwell now. Uh, it's 11 o'clock, so it did take me quite a long time to, you know, to get off that moor that I was on, because uh, it was quite steep going down as well. I also took a, a bit of a 10 minute break just to, to eat some food and get some food, stock up on some water. So we're, we're ready to, to finish the walk today, although we're not halfway through yet. But um, now my main goal uh, is to get to uh, Bleaklow. Because when, when I'm at Bleaklow, it's just a little bit of a downhill section and a bit of flat section. And then we're at the campsite. Next calling point will be um, uh, Wind Hill. We'll be going close to there. So I'm going to walk up the edge of Wind Hill basically. We've probably got quite a bit of a climb at all pot as well, which um, I've not done before, but it's quite a high point. So there's bound to be some elevation and some climbing in that. So I said I wanted to do, you know, the length of the, the Peak District. So what I did is I got the map out and I tried to make a route that was as central as possible, really. I didn't want it straying from side to side because, well, you could go on forever. And likewise, there's a few, there's probably a few points like Windhill Pike that really I could have just gone to the top of but I've decided to miss it out because for me that's it's not really the point of this walk is to to bag as many hills or um, scenic places on the way you know I, I've tried to include a few but there's probably more I could have included but likewise I haven't tried to I've tried to avoid roads where I can. So there is obviously a few spots between all the trails where you have to do a bit of road walking. But I've tried to minimise that while keeping central and while going to a few sort of scenic places.
so that's another checkpoint marked off the list um all park castle it was really good actually i've not i've not i've never been up there before um but it'd be really good to you know spend a bit of time exploring around there and it's a good one that's that's a a nice one to tick off for me actually because now i'm looking at bleak low and although we're not going up you know to the top of bleak low we're skirting around the edge of it again but it's 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 still quite ominous to to look at but again i can see it so once we're once we're up there it's just downhill So we're just coming out of this valley now and we're going to start the the final ascent. It's the well, the final ascent of the day. We're going up to uh it's called Grinner Stone. So we're gonna go up to there, catch uh, and then catch another path that's gonna take us down the other side. So and that's gonna be probably about I'm guessing about an hour and a half climbing up there and then another hour going down and to the campsite in uh, Croydon. That last hour of walking was um, was definitely the toughest of the walk so far, and I think it will be the toughest of the walk. So I kept losing the path. Um, it's just an area; it's not. It's obviously not uh, well walked, so the paths are, are very, very faint. So having to retrace steps and stuff like that. Um, was definitely time consuming that on top of the fact that 
it was mostly uphill <laughs> uh, and quite steep in some parts uh, was not good I suppose it's also because I'm you know I'm, I'm really sort of fatigued as well from you know two big days of walking but yeah I've, I've got a nice path now anyway which will, will take me all the way down to uh, all the way all the way down to the campsite really I made it to the campsite uh, in Croydon and I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, that's probably the, the longest day of walking that I've ever done and it feels like it. But yeah, that last section, um, that last couple of hours just absolutely killed me. Um, the train was just really technical. I was having to navigate a lot so yeah, it, it was it was a tough finish um, to a long day. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and get some rest now. Um, tomorrow is like a bit of a treat day, really, because it's the end of the walk. It's only a short walk. Um, I think it's about 15 kilometres, something like that. Uh, there's just one big hill that I'm walking over, Black Hill. So I just walk up the hill and come down and then I'm in Marsden uh, for the end of the walk so I'm not expecting to do more than sort of three or four hours walking tomorrow but that'll probably change <laughs> <laughs> 